What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to take Apple's horizontal slider and we're going to make it actually go vertical. So what we'll do is we're going to put a label on the top here and I'll just increase the font so it's easier to see. And uh, we're going to horizontally center that. So I'm going to make it, actually, we will do horizontally center and then we can just make it 8 from the top or really whatever you want as long as it's not going to get in the way of your slider. So then we'll take the slider and we will um, center that directly in the middle of the container. So you can do that just by going down here and doing horizontally and vertically. Uh, so what you see is there's still problems. So what we need to do is actually give that a width. And for this tutorial, we're just gonna make it 200. On yours, you will more than likely wanna mess around with it uh, because you do have to remember your horizontal is actually gonna become your vertical. So the next thing we really need to do is hook these in and just create outlets to them. So we'll just make this an outlet to label. And then we'll also create an outlet to the slider. And you gotta make sure to click the slider and not to click the constraints because that will cause problems. And the easy way to tell is by the type in here. So we'll just make this the slider outlet. And then also we're gonna want an action and we're just gonna put that below our view did load. So we're gonna call this one slider slid and we're going to make it an action. And uh, kind of important, we want to change the type to be a UI slider. You can do it as an any object, but it takes a lot more work. So for the sake of this tutorial, just follow this. All right. Uh, to start, in our view did load, we don't want our label to ever just say label. So as soon as the view loads, we're just going to take our slider outlet and we're going to set, or we're going to take our label and set the text to equal the slider outlet dot and it's going to be value and you'll notice that's a float and we really won't want that to be a vote or float uh, we need it to be a string so we will just force that to be a string and then uh, we're going to want to turn that into an int but we'll do that later because we want it to be an integer value we don't want it to do weird things and then also when the slider slides, we need that same thing to happen. And uh, as of now, this has nothing to do with making the slider actually go vertical, but that is going to happen right now. So what we want to do is take our slider outlet, and then we're going to say dot transform. Let me actually make this the right size screen now that we're done doing that. And then we want to say CG find transform make rotation so if you just get to that far you can do make rotation and you're going to see that it wants to take an angle so the angles we're actually going to use are built in to uh, the math for, like functions for swift but we have to turn it into a cg float so we'll make it a cg float and then we're going to do negative m underscore pi and then the two at the end means it's divided by two, which is exactly what we want. We want it to go pi over two. And then it got rid of our last uh, parentheses there, so that was an issue. Um, and then the last thing we want to do is, uh, I'll show you it running first, and uh, we're going to change this to go from zero to 100. It's pretty important that when you're positioning it, you get the value to the middle so you can see where it's going to rotate about. But after that, you can uh, no problem set it to however you wanted it to be. So I'm just going to set mine to zero and have it go up to 100. As soon as the simulator loads. And there it is. So you can see uh, this is the reason we want to turn it into an integer is because we do not want all that junk, or usually you do not if you're presenting it. If you're using it for something else, you very may very well want to do that. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to do that real quick because uh, it's very easy to do. So we'll do int. And then we need to do the same thing in the slider slid function because it's actually almost more important there because in the beginning it's just going to be 0, .0. .0. But that will fix it. Uh, one more thing I want to show you uh, before ending this tutorial is how to do it if you do not want it centered in the middle because uh, that's actually going to be a really 
uh, really just a place you don't want it to be. So I'll kind of give you some tricks as to get it to where you want it. So what I'm going to do is just remove the middle constraint. And I'm going to set this back to 50 to show you why that's important. So if I wanted this to always be right there, like uh, if I wanted my slider to be up and down, what you want to do is position the uh, grabber thing in the middle. I don't really know what you would call it. And you want to put that wherever you want it to spin about. So if you want it to get really close to the side and then go up the edges, all you would have to do is go in here. And you can just directly put whatever this is. And usually that will be enough if you have one of the two or two of these. And uh, since we have it vertically centered, we do not need to use these. So we'll just do negative 93 to the right. And as you'll see, whenever I run it, that's actually going to be exactly where we wanted it. And it just depends on what you're doing. And also, you can adjust the height based on like the screen sizes and things. It's really up to you how you want to do it. Uh, one last thing I did want to show, uh, in case you're not familiar with the angles, if you change the negative to a positive, that is how you will get uh, to... Some people want the slider to start by going down. They don't want it to go up this way, they want it to come down this way, and it's kind of bad starting from the beginning. But So if we started at zero, this would go to 100 down, and that's what some people want. So that should be enough to get you started on making a vertical slider. Thanks for watching. If there's anything I could do better in these videos, please put it in the comments.